Hi, this is Rafiq Suleiman, and you are watching Cloud Simplified. Hi everyone, and welcome to another lesson from the Cloud Practitioner Express. In this lesson, we're going to continue what we started in the last three lessons where we introduced the concept of AWS networking. So if you remember, in lesson number one, this is where we talked about VPCs, subnets, and internet gateways. In lesson number two, this is where we spoke about the specific use case, how I can connect my physical on-premise into the AWS cloud. And in lesson number three, just the last lesson, this is where we spoke how I can secure my VPC through network access control lists and through security groups. That's the last lesson in the AWS networking section. And here, this is where we are going to introduce the interesting service of Route 53. So to explain Route 53, Route 53, this is a fully managed DNS service from AWS. So let's take a step back and understand what exactly is the use of a DNS server. So DNS server, this is for me to resolve what is the IP address of a certain website? So for example, it's much easier for us as humans to remember something like amazon.com or example.com than to remember what is the IP address. And here comes the use of the DNS. So imagine if this user, she wants to access example.com, so she will open her browser and will write example.com. And the moment she hits on enter, now I need to know what's the IP address of example.com. So this is going to be a request. What is the IP of example.com? And this goes to something called the resolver DNS server. So this server does not have the answer, but this server knows what we call the authoritative server. Authoritative server, this is the DNS server that knows what is the IP address of example.com? So now it will take the request and it will forward the request to the authoritative server of example.com. And now this server is going to reply back with what we call the A record or the answer. This is the IP address if you want to access example.com and then the resolver will send back this IP address to the client and now the client can construct the packet going to destination IP of example.com. So let's see what are the characteristics of route 53. As we explained, route 53, this is a highly available and scalable DNS service from AWS. And this is the service to route internet traffic to the resources for your domain. So let's take this example. If I have my application across two regions, now how I can load balance between multiple regions? And this is what we call global server load balancing. So here comes the DNS. So you send the request and the request will hit route 53. And now if I have two regions, then I might reply back with one of the two IPs. So maybe one of the options, I will reply back with the nearest region IP address. So the first thing is will route traffic to the resources for your domain. So maybe the region that is closer is, is much closer to you. And then something very important, route 53 is an intelligent DNS server, which means this is not a server that has this domain has this IP. Before replying back, before answering, it will check the health. Is this IP alive? The servers behind this IP address are alive. If this is alive, then I can reply back with this IP address. If it's not alive, then I will not send this IP. Maybe I will send the IP of the second region. And finally, something very important. I can also use route 53 to register a domain name. So I can use route 53, for example, if I'm searching for a certain website, I can go to route 53, search for the website, and I can register 
directly this website to be under my administration through route 53 as well and with this we come to the end of this lesson and this section i hope this was 100 percent clear if you have any questions please put it for us in the comments thank you so much for watching and see you in the next lesson